making a poem movie is actually quite easy if you know what to do. The first step we're going to do is you're going to go to your start key and you're going to click on that and then you're going to find Windows Movie Maker. And once you click on that, you'll open it up and you'll notice the interface here. Up here, you'll see where it says Capture Video, there's also a thing for importing pictures and importing audio or music. So once you have your pictures and your audio recorded, uh, and they're both in your student drive, uh, you can start this part of the project. The first thing we'll do is import pictures, and you click right here. And I have all, I just happen to have all mine in a folder called Picture Poetry or poetry pictures and uh, then I can import my audio now, I don't actually have a poem uh, here but I will I'll just take a song that I have and I'll slide that oh I'm sorry I have to import it so I'll import it into my collection and here it is and I can come down and I can put it on my timeline. And by the way, if your timeline doesn't look like this one here, right here you can go to show storyboard or to show timeline. But timeline works a little bit better. So I would suggest clicking on that. Once you have your audio in here, it'll it'll fit right here. And if you have parts that you need to cut off, for instance, if I want to cut off my video, my audio right at this point, I can right click on it, no I can't right click on it there but I can go up to clip and I can split that right in half and what I've done is created two separate files you'll see here but I'll take the second one and I'll just hit the delete key and you'll notice that now my my clip is, is a lot shorter so once I have that audio on there I can basically place my pictures on my timeline and I'll just keep putting them in order And you'll see it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Now those are very small, so if you need to stretch the length of your, how long your picture stays on the screen, that basically, uh, you can once you get up, you can click and drag that click and make it longer, and you can also make it shorter. You'll notice that's a fifth of a second how long that screen would be on. Uh, but then once you, once you get going. You, if you want to see how your video looks, you can hit play. And that would be uh, the first three or four seconds. And that's how easy the program is to use. Um, if you need to split, well, you won't need to split any of your clips because they're just uh, pictures. You'll just need to stretch them and make them longer. Uh, when you're done, if you don't finish, you can save pro the project. You can just save it in your student drive. It'll save this file. And you want to save it in the same place that you saved your pictures and your audio because uh, what this program does is writes a set of directions for you on how to uh, on how to put your movie together. And then uh, when you're finished with your movie, you, you'll, you'll hit save. So you save your project. Okay, it says there's an untitled one. We don't want to replace that. We'll just call it and give it a name. Save. Now, in this case, I'll just I'll split my clip and I'll delete the rest of this. Oh, I can't split it here. Split the second half of that, and now I've got my clip, it matches up. Show my whole video. Oops. Alright, so my video is all done. If I want to put um, titles on it, by the way, you can add in by making titles. You put a title at the end. And I can do different things. I can change the text and the font color. I want to make it. Now, 
There's also, see I always find remember more things as we go. If I go back to the storyboard, uh, you can do some different things. Let's say I've edited my text, I've got to hit done. You'll notice that it's added the title here. But one of the things I can do is I can add some video effects. And these are like taking this clip here. And I can click a, like that. And I can make tra use some transitions and click those on there. Well, this doesn't feel good. All right. So then uh, we can go back to the timeline. You can see what we've done to this video. You'll notice some of those transitions there. But also you'll notice that my music now has to be moved to fit the start of my video. So I move it. And then we can start again. And you can see some of the. So now you, you can see some of the different things you can do. Once you've done, you finish, save movie file, and it'll walk you through a process that we call rendering. Rendering basically says make this clip into a movie, and uh, we'll just call. I'm going to call mine untitled. I'm going to leave it on the desktop. Now, if you leave it on the desktop, it works best because the computer will process faster. But basically, you, this process. It's going to render my movie. It's going to put it all together. When it's finished, you'll see it'll pop up and it'll play um, in Windows Movie Movie uh, Windows Media Player. And it's just about finished. And when it finishes, you can select Finish, and now you'll see that Windows Media Player will open up. And along with it, oh, in this case, it's my VLC Media Player. And it shows up as a movie. And that's how you make a movie in Windows Movie Maker.